Okay, let's get started. Chuck, can you hear me in the back? Okay. Uh, Wendy, um, I'm Bernal Goldberg. Uh, this is an event uh, being run by the Washington Israel Business Council. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, we've got some terrific uh, Israel-related uh, resources here, um, and some of them are sponsors, so I'll just quickly uh, dive into introducing them. Um, one of the main sponsors of the Business Council is Silicon Valley Bank, and uh, we're fortunate tonight to have uh, Geyer Hansen, uh, Senior VP of Emerging Technology and Venture <coughs> Capital, with us tonight. Geyer, uh, would you just give us a, a few words on what you guys are doing in Israel? I feel like a rock star. I was, I was going to speak from back there, but you'd look very uncomfortable for most people. Yeah. Around. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm Geyer Hansen uh, with Silicon Valley Bank. Uh, and as Bernal said, I run the uh, emerging technology pra practice for the bank here in Seattle. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank works with technology companies of all sizes, uh, with technology, life science, private equity firms, and then we have a premium winery outlier that's not that hard to explain. <laughs> we won't get into that here. You know, we have, uh, we have long-standing relationships with Israeli companies. As a bank, I think we bank uh, 150 Israeli companies in various parts of the country. Uh, we've done that for a long time, and we finally, earlier this year, opened up an no. office in Herzliya. So we're open for business there, hoping to replicate in Israel what we have been doing in the United States for the last 25 years. And thanks right. for having me. Okay. Happy to be a sponsor. Thank you, Jeff. Silicon Valley Bank is uh, also a, a co-sponsor of tonight's uh, event, as well as the council. <coughs> uh, co-sponsor uh, of the evening uh, is also the American Technion Society. Uh, you all know Wendy Rosen, who's the regional director. She comes to a lot of our events. And we're also fortunate tonight to have Mark Hefter, who's the national director for Plan Giving, with us from New York. So Mark, would you care to give us a few words about the Technion? I'd be more than happy. Thank you. Thanks. It's great to be with all of you. Thanks to our co-hosts for having us here. Um, it's appropriate, I think, uh, that we're here tonight to, get to talk about investing in Israel. Those of us who are associated with the American Technion Society, the American Friends Association of the Technion Institute of Technology in, in Haifa, Israel, think that the best investment anyone ever made in the state of Israel was the creation of the Technion in 1924. 24 years before the birth of Israel, which we all celebrate, as everyone probably knows. On Thursday of this week, uh, in 1924, when the Technion was established, Israel had less than 50 kilometers of paved roads. The north was full of malarial swamps. The south was a desert where nothing grows. And the Technion's history is a parallel of the history of the state of Israel. Great economic development, great development in security, and safety technologies so that a wilderness has bloomed in the fulfillment of the prophecy both of Isaiah and the modern Isaiah Theodore Herzl and we have all been privileged those of us who've lived during some or all of the history of the state of Israel to see Israel take its place amongst the first rank of nations in the world in economic and technological development. None of this would be possible without the existence of the Technion. The first is, uh, institute of higher learning ever established in the state of Israel, the first institute of higher learning established entirely by Jewish people. Sorry, those of you who went to Brandeis. We beat you by 25 years. Um, <laughs> what happens at the Technion is vital to the continued security and economic interests of Israel. We have 19 engineering, science, and professional faculties which deal with all of the hard sciences, all types of technology and engineering, the only architecture school in the country, the only aerospace school in the country, the largest computer science slash electrical engineering school in the world. And this is reflected in the economic development, development of the state of Israel, where it now has a 
gross domestic product per capita equal to most of the states of the European community in Western Europe, and that attracts investment, as you will hear in a few minutes, no doubt, from all over the world with a tremendous amount of interest. Uh, none of this would happen without the fact that there are 80,000 graduates of the Technion who are actively involved both in working for, managing, owning, creating the high-tech businesses. Uh, we have the greatest number of, of, of businesses on the NASDAQ and other American exchanges from Israel, not just in terms of per capita, but in terms of any country in sheer numbers other than Canada. Great Britain and Canada. And they're much, much larger than we are. Uh, again, all of this has happened because of the Technion. I, I could go on, but in the interest of time, I will just simply quote a much more eloquent and a much greater uh, supporter of Israel than I'll ever be, Moshe Dayan, who simply said once about 15 years ago, no Technion, no Israel. Uh, we are very privileged at the American Technion to be active partners with our colleagues in Israel in, in generating interest and support for the activities of the Technion in terms of sponsored research, technology transfer, and most importantly, fundraising. The American Technion in the past 12 years has raised from Americans $1.1 billion of support for all the activities of the Technion, providing scholarships, fellowships, other academic support, research support for faculty and students, and most of the capital facilities that have built on, been built on campus for the past 10 years. This is, again, another story of the great history of Israel in terms of investment in Israel. Uh, Israel was, was created by a lot of Jewish know-how and a lot of intestinal fortitude by people who were there, but they also had a lot of help from funds, from concerned and loving Jews all over the world. And we are a classic example of that partnership between the diaspora and Israel in terms of making that happen. I am privileged to be the head of the gift planning effort at the American Technion Society. And uh, we have all sorts of creative ways that allow our supporters to make those shows of financial support that keep the labs running, that keep the students in classrooms, that keep the book funds solvent, and so on and so forth. Uh, we, are, we have a number of creative programs, as I mentioned. Uh, just to give you one example, uh, we have a very, very active charitable annuity program, uh, which is very popular at this time in our uh, country's financial history when people are concerned about investments that pay themselves an income, when they're concerned about uh, lowering yields and dropping yields and uncertainties in the financial markets. Uh, our charitable annuity program offers uh, relatively high yields, uh, uh, sometimes as much as 6 or 7 percent after taxes, uh, guaranteed and uh, uh, with a number of other tax uh, exempt benefits, tax deductions which help lower people's income taxes and, uh, and also a, a tremendous way to support the Technion because what we do with the money while the person is still here who, who establishes one of these annuities is create an annuity for their benefit. We actually pay them an income in respect of their gift. Again, the income is much better than what they can usually make in the marketplace. When the, they're done using that income, we use what's left to support the labs and the students and the other vital programs. It's a tremendous way to do something wonderful for yourself, for your family. Uh, this can be done for you, it can be done for your spouse, it can be done for your heirs, your children, your grandchildren, or any combination of the above. Uh, you can take the funds immediately or take them on a deferred basis, and they work like an IRA or a pension where the funds grow tax-free until you need them, thereby further enhancing your income. And these kinds of programs can also be funded with almost any kind of asset. Cash, of course, stock, real estate, even collectibles and artworks in some cases. And if you have appreciated property, you have to do yourself a double favor because this also not only pays you great income, but you also avoid the taxes in terms of capital gains and other enhancements that you'd have to pay on the appreciated we'll property. Here, so I you. am okay. Yeah, I'm here to answer any questions that anyone has if they have a specific interest in this. Wendy Rosen is as well. Again, I thank you for having us, letting us co-sponsor this program. Look forward uh, to being with you this evening and uh, hopefully to seeing you again on many, many similar occasions. Thank you. Thanks very much.